The new Vox AC30 C2 was launched at Winter Nam, and a week after the show was finished, we already have an example here to show off. As a change for this video demo, we're going to have less talking from me and more sounds from the amp, and we'll be using a number of different guitars along the way. So, first of all, let's compare the two channels, normal and top boost, side by side. We'll set each channel's volume to 5 and use the high input in each case, so let's begin with the normal channel. Now compare that with the top boost channel. Sticking with the top boost channel, we'll take the volume down to 3 to clean the tone up. Now we'll up the volume to 9 for added drive, and we've got the tone cut set to 8 here. We've swapped to this lovely Epiphone Casino for a warmer performance, and here's the exact same amp settings we've just used once more. The AC30 C2 also has an expansive reverb, so with a cleaner amp tone, here's how that can sweeten the sound. There's also a very smart onboard tremolo that can be switched in and out with the optional foot switch. Here's a subtle setting with the speed set to around 7 and the depth to around 4. And now a more strident tremolo setting. Here we've got the speed set to around 8 and the depth to around 7.
We've swapped guitars to this Burns Brian May, I know any excuse, and used a Fryer treble booster which we have linked into the chain to boost the signal still further, here's how the amp reacts to being pushed to the absolute limit. <laughs> There we go, that's just some of the tones that are on offer from the brand new AC30 C2. Vox tell us that it's the most versatile AC30 ever, and on this performance, well, they might very well be right. So don't miss the review of both this and the AC15 C1 in this month's magazine.